I picked up a bird guide in high school and I was just astounded that there were all these different kinds of birds that were just right around me that I had no idea about. This is my 10th year on Maui. I came here to work with these birds. We know there are fewer than 200 QBQ left in the world. This is an ongoing extinction event. When you're working with birds that are on the verge of extinction, you'd almost be excused for being a bummer all the time. They're almost like mythic. Right <laughs> Erica is pretty tenacious. And she's got a really good attitude. It's a special thing to have a new person to help save these birds from extinction. Some people are good organizers or good educators. What I can do is work in these forests to prevent this extinction. It's hard for people to feel passionate about saving something that they don't have a personal experience with. I mean, many people don't know that these birds even exist, so why care if they go extinct? Honeycreepers are unique in the forest. And they have that really iconic curved bill. Honeycreepers co-evolved with different plants. The plant will have a perfect curved flower that fits. Honeycreepers pollinate native plants. That's their job in the forest. Without pollinators, these plants can't reproduce. Of the six honeycreepers that are on Maui, the kiwiku and the akohekohe are critically endangered. These birds are only found here on this island. Just like a Jenga stack, you remove one, stack stays up. In fact, you can remove quite a few, but at some point, if you remove enough, it'll all come tumbling down. That's sort of my nightmare. These birds used to be found from the mountains to the sea. Their ranges have constricted through habitat loss. Because they're so rare, I always think of them as kind of like jewels of the rainforest. The only way that we can get to them is by helicopter. That makes it challenging. The critically endangered birds, they are in really remote rainforests. The goal is to protect these forest birds so that they'll be around for future generations to experience. You can't do much to save a bird if you don't know where it is. The song leaders help us record audio to monitor for the forest birds. As a native Hawaiian, I feel we would be much poorer for the loss of these birds. We could be documenting basically their last words. There's this thing called the kumulipo, and it's kind of the Hawaiian genesis. Basically, it's like the creation. And in it, it states everything is interconnected and related. Kind of funny that something as small as a mosquito could cause such huge devastation. Hi, everybody. Thank you for coming. I'm Chris Warren. I'm the forest bird coordinator at Haleakala National Park. So what's the story with mosquitoes and malaria? Mosquitoes and avian malaria are moving into higher elevation habitats and killing native forest birds. I have seen it personally, and it's pretty crushing. We're talking like nine days after a bite, you can see 90 to 95% mortality. Avian malaria is a deadly 
disease. Mosquitoes carry avian malaria. It is basically a kiss of death. As soon as the native birds disappeared from the lower elevations where people were, they were out of sight, out of mind. And there were even these clubs devoted to finding birds from elsewhere in the world and introducing them to Hawaii because people found it so odd that there weren't birds here. Honey creepers are such an integral part of Maui, the heart of Maui. Controlling mosquitoes is the only hope. Yeah, I mean, who likes mosquitoes? <laughs> If we can succeed over time, we can say, oh my goodness, look, the birds are down at 5,000 feet. Now they're at 4,500 feet. I think we can fix this. Even if you're a really good birder, you need experience with the bird to, to be good at finding them. There's really not that many people to develop that skill. She's got it now. If she came back and said, I didn't hear any, I would say, oh, I believe you. Now that I formed really strong connections with these birds, I can't even picture a world without them. But there's an urgency to the things that need to be done. If we lose the birds, we are losing a piece of Hawaii.